had my angel cards out and um, I thought, just do it for today, Michael. You know, like, um, you know that every guardian angel of the angel deck um, every single day of the year, one of them will be the ruling force for the day. And today's one is this one. It's called uh, Vaza Arariya. Um, and the ruling force for this card today is speech. You know, I feel like someone's not like standing up for themselves and um, this card pushes them forward to speak their truth and have, have their words known. Um, notice how he, he's holding his little instrument there. It looks like he's going to bat someone with that, doesn't he? Um, yeah, Vazria. Vazria is a power card. And um, so I know that whenever Vazria comes around, you know, this means that we have to push ourselves to do something about a situation that is going around and about. I have got Vazria to stand at the top of the cards to influence the next three cards that come out. So I'm going to pop that one down there and let's see what we get. Right then, so first card is Mihal. Number 48. Mihal is a principal's card, and so this card she's evoked when there's a problem going on inside a marriage or something like this. Notice how she wrestles with the rings to solve the puzzles. You know, we're talking about a woman that's feeling like there's other things going on around and about in her marriage. The reason why uh, Mihal comes around, it's all about opening our eyes and to see um, perception and things like this but she's here to try and protect you from all those bad things happening and to guide you on to make things a little bit better the way the angel cards work is they don't like say blah 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 <laughs> they let you know um what they're doing um to help your situation so if we, if we went back to today's evoke card which was this one about having a, a good conversation you know saying your truth and the words is what i felt from um Vazri Arya. i probably got the names wrong i'm sorry um michal is letting us in to let us know where the conversation needs to be steered to um, and so let's see what the next card is and the next card is Nehemiah. So Nehemiah speaks of a person that works away from home. So they go on long travels and they can be quite successful. And um, it also talks about that person having some kind of vice slash addiction when this person goes away for work. So on the upfront, it'll look like he's doing really, really well. Um, but there's definitely a connection between this card and Nehemiah. She's also a virtue card as well. And the reason that she's evoked is to help us go on to have a healthier lifestyle choice. Um, and I think this, they're making reference to the, to the other two cards and to the, the bigger conversation about what goes on around and about. So let's see what the last card says. Yeah, Atal is a power card. The reason that Yatel, Yat, Yaratel turns up in this deck is she's a power card and she comes in to offer, us, offer protection against unfair attacks. She also comes in to soothe you um, with the knowledge of truth. Um, I feel like these, 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 these decks of cards are all about a bigger conversation. Let's have a look at them all together. Two cents, I'll turn it around. There we go. So our first, first card one, this is, this is just the one for the 25th of uh, November, and that's Vazria. And I, that, that was the one that I said about um, need to have a good conversation, stand on your ground and be ready to fight. This one spoke of problems in a marriage. This one spoke of um, something happening when working away from work. And this one was the power card. Basically the truth will come out and these little angels will be the ones that'll 
help you out with that. To be absolutely fair, uh, with the cards, I haven't really used them a great, great deal. When I first got them, I mean, um, for myself, when I do my mediumship and stuff like this, I always use um, my angel card that I got out of this deck. And the angel for me was Daniel. Um, and so I've got a lot of sorry faith in these cards. Um, so I do hope that these mean something to someone somewhere and you can have that good conversation.